Hey, our friends are going to be drawing a scary pumpkin. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a marker. Marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah, all right, you ready to start? Yes. This jack-o'-lantern is inspired by the Fortnite jack-o'-lantern skin. Yeah. It's But we're just drawing the pumpkin part, the head. Yeah. All right, let's draw the scary eyes. We're going to draw two dots in the middle of our paper. This is the space in between our eyes. We'll start on the left side, and we're going to draw a little curve that comes down, but then comes back up. Then we can curve out a little further. Let's do that same line on the other side. This is the eyebrows over, well, it's not really eyebrows, but the little muscle over the pumpkin's eye that makes him look angry. Yeah. So we're going to do that other side. You could probably make this one come up a little higher. Then let's draw the eye, the bottom part of the eye. We're going to come around like this, and then right at the end, you can connect back up. Let's repeat that same shape on the other side. We'll come around for the bottom of the eye and then connect back up. Yes, that looks so cool. Now let's draw the fire coming out of our pumpkin's eyes. We're gonna draw another curve that comes out like this. We'll stop just above the eye and then we'll draw a short diagonal line back and then we'll draw another curve coming up further. Another short line, there you go, keep going. Another short line back and then we can curve out close to the edge of the paper. That's a zigzag line for the fire. We're going to draw another zigzag line coming down to the bottom of the eye. I'm going to go ahead and just draw all the way down. Now yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. And you guys at home can change it. You could add more of these zigzags. Yeah, there you go. Let's repeat that same step for the other side. Now the, the other thing too is you don't have to make one side look the same. It can look different because it's fire. It's yeah. not going to look exactly the same on both sides. And if you need extra time, you can pause the video. Cool. That looks awesome. Now let's draw the nostrils. I'm going to draw two lines down in between the eyes. And we're going to turn these into skeleton looking nostrils. We'll draw little triangle shapes on each side. We're going to draw the mouth after we draw the shape of the pumpkin. So we'll come back to that later. Let's draw the stem coming out of the top of our pumpkin. We'll draw a curve and it can be bumpy. It doesn't have to look the same. And then let's draw another curve on the other side. Towards the top, I got a little closer. And then we can connect those two lines. Now down here at the bottom, I'm going to draw a zigzag line for the little part that comes into the pumpkin, the stem that comes into the pumpkin. Now let's draw the shape of our pumpkin. And this, this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to start here on the left side of our stem. We're going to curve over and we can just go right through the fire. And then we're going to come down. Let's stop there and we'll draw the other side of our pumpkin. We'll do the same thing. Curve around and come down past the fire. Now over here we can draw a curve that comes out further for the cheeks on our pumpkin's face. Ah, that's so cool. Okay, now let's draw the mouth. We're going to start over here next to the eye, and I'm going to draw, we're drawing a lot of zigzags. Yeah. This is for the teeth. So some of the zigzags are small and some are big. Then when you get over to the other side, draw another curve coming up and almost connecting to the eye. That's for the top of the mouth. Now we can draw the bottom of the mouth. I'm going to draw a big curve that comes down. We can do that same curve on the other side too. And then let's connect these two lines with the same kind of zigzag. So some big zigzags and little zigzags mixed up together. 
Now we should have more fire. Yeah, definitely. There's not enough. <laughs> Let's draw fire around the outside of our pumpkin. We're going to draw a curve that comes out of the bottom. And then we can add zigzags and more spikes that come out. I'm going to stop right here and then I'm going to start on the other side of the fire that's coming out of his eye. And you can make, have all kinds of fun adding different fire, different flames, short and big ones, all the way across to the other side. And then I'm going to come down here and we'll add more spikes and flames coming out and then connect back in. Let's add little flames that are coming out too that aren't attached. So we draw an S curve up here and then draw a bigger S curve coming back in and connecting to the bottom. We can add little ones too. You can add as many of these as you want and you can add them wherever you want too. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our scary jack-o'-lantern. But we still need to color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We colored our pumpkin solid orange, but let's add texture and shading to make it look more like a pumpkin Yeah. and three-dimensional. So I'm using my brown Y529 biannual markers, if you have the same markers. And I added a little shadow right here on the uh, muscle over the eye, that the eyebrow makes him look angry. Okay, now right in between the eyes, I'm also going to color it in and add a little shadow right here. Now you don't have to color it exactly the same, but you can use our drawings as inspiration if you want. Now let's add texture to the teeth. I'm going to draw a line right here that curves up and connects to that shadow in between the eyes. And it came down to one of the points on the tooth. Then I'm going to draw another line that connects from the, the top part and then color in between those. So that adds a little shadow on the tooth. Let's do the same thing right here. We'll draw a line inside or on the bottom part and a line on the top part and then color in between. It creates kind of this cool little uh, texture to our pumpkin. Yeah. Let's do the same thing over here and we're going to color on the other side. So we'll draw two lines and then color in between. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. Now I'm going to speed it up because we're just repeating the same steps. We'll just go a little faster. Look how more three-dimensional those teeth look. Yeah. It looks starting to really look scary. I'm going to add one more over here just for fun. Now we can also add, oh, I like how dark you're making it too. That looks really cool. I'm going to even add one maybe in the middle. And one more right here next to the nose. Okay, now let's repeat that same step down here for the bottom teeth. I'm just going to start over here on the, on the left side and we'll draw one. Let's draw it from here and I'm going to draw it to the center of the pumpkin at the bottom. And then we can do another one right here. I think I switched. That's okay. <laughs> I, did, I did it slightly different than the top one. That's all right. Let's do it again. I'm going to draw here. We'll just repeat the same steps so that it looks the same. And we're just going to draw more spikes. I can even just, I really just don't have to be exactly where I've been putting them. <laughs> you can just add this texture and it will look really cool. It looks more like a pumpkin now. And see when you do the the one, the teeth that are really far away from the center, you still come back to the center point to give it that pumpkin texture. I'm also going to add a shadow on the outside of the pumpkin that goes around all the way around the bottom and comes around to the other side too.
Next, we're going to add a shadow on the outside of the top of our pumpkin, too. I'll draw just a thicker shadow on each side. And then we can also add the little texture lines like we did for the teeth, but maybe not as many. I'm going to start right here on the spike of the stem and just curve down to the eye. Then we could do the same thing on the right side, too. From each of the spikes, just come in and add a little shadow. Maybe there's one more over here on this side. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our scary pumpkins. pumpkins. Yeah. Now we also added a thicker black line. That's think, really cool. Yes, it does. I like that style. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your scary pumpkin. Yeah, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.